Hey guys, I'm here. I'm Callum. I'm Chrissy. And we made a Minecraft server. Woo! <laughs> Chris is playing play with a door. <laughs> Trust me, every server I go on now, friends, they put automatic doors everywhere. <laughs> I <laughs> noticed. Okay, guys, so we are in our little podcast room. We have Chrissy, we have Callum, and we have... Oh. Jake. just killed a parrot! <laughs> Callum is killing things. No. I'm watching you. And there's a horse. Callum, Kill the stop carrot. killing carrots. Okay, so we are going to be explaining what the server is and what is happening with the server. Callum is throwing carrots everywhere. Um, so the server is quite complex, sort of. Not really, but hey. <laughs> Um, so the whole idea with Manaria is that it is a server run by the players, pretty much. Um, players c can create their own law for the server. We have four gods, omnipotent gods. Um, so we have Iara, who is the god of goddess of life. We have Detris, who is the god of death. We have Amaldon, who is the god of Justice, I almost forgot. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Aota, the god of uh, war. So, you can choose your own god, you can choose which god you can follow, and you can live by their rules. So, like, ER is, like, really friendly. Callum stops throwing carrots everywhere. Um, <laughs> um, so, you could be, like, really mean and prank everyone. For Datris, and yeah, you get the idea. You can create your own law for, or you can help us create the law for the server through our website, our lovely, lovely website, which is now on the screen right now. And we also have a Discord, which you can join as well, which is on the screen right now. So, the world of Mineria is vast and has lots of biomes. It is completely custom, custom made. Throughout the world there are many, many different towns which uh, we have been building for a very long time. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy exploring the world a little bit. <laughs> right, so if anyone wants to join Team Death, basically, all they need to do oh, wow. is to know but, you know, you have to worship me. Every single person I expect is to give me donations. And if I don't get any donations, you know, it, you might feel the wrath of your own god. So make sure you keep that in mind. Um, I want you to kill as many people on Purge Day as you can. That is the only task you have to do. Um, steal crops, steal buildings, burn everything. That's all I like. <laughs> I'd like to see that. And you will be rewarded with some OP armor, weaponry, tools, anything you want. Just make sure lots of death occurs on Purge Day. So, I know that a lot of you will think that Manaria is a lot like Mayanite. That is kind of true, because... But what's Mayanite? Manaria is loosely based off Mayanite. Just the base idea. So, if you th if you keep thinking that it's exactly the same thing, you're wrong. Uh, Manaria does have a lot of... Um, influences from other games and stuff it's not just my night so with Mineria you can actually buy ranks which will give you different perks you can check each perk on each on our website you can check in game as well to see rank perks so on the server there are well we have our own currencies and the we have four currencies currently. Um, so we have the Owl, the Mana, and we have the Fira. They are the three main currencies. So if you just look in my little book right here, uh, this is the starter book. So, right. <laughs> just using it for this. Um, so 64 Owlers equal one Mana, and 64 Mana equal one Fira. So Fira is actually the is the more uh, expensive one. And then we have a fourth 
currency, which is the Nova. And the Nova gets you spawners, but in, to get a Nova, you need 64 Fira and a Nether Star. So they're pretty hard to uh, actually obtain. You also need to manage to find where our spawner shop actually is. It's hidden somewhere in the world, and I'm not going to tell you where it is, because that's for you guys to find out. So all across the world, in every single town and city, there are lots of NPCs that you can sometimes talk to, and a lot of them have quests. Uh, and as the server progresses, more and more quests will come out. And a lot of the NPCs actually tell lore about the, uh, about the server, so you can find out a lot more about history and stuff for each of the towns. But the world of Manaria isn't safe all the time. Occasionally, a ghost ship will appear randomly in a, just a random place in the world, and it has some crazy mobs in it. So you can fight by the mobs for some extra uh, XP, some gear if you want, extra gear, or you just want to be badass and fight a lot of mobs. But that's not the only thing that can be dangerous on Mineria. There is also the Dreadlands, which is the pretty much the border of the whole entire co uh, custom world, and in the Dreadlands, you will find some towers that have even more dangerous mobs that are just crazy strong. And one of those mobs is actually a wither skeleton, so you can get some wither, wither skulls from them um, to help you get those novas, which is very vital to getting spawners. So, along with our God of Justice, we have a justice system where we have a courtroom and you can put people on trial for reasonable reasons. Otherwise, you're not going to get a, someone put on trial if it's for something stupid. Because that's just annoying. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you can... Ask a senior staff, which is us, we're the senior staff, put someone on trial if they have done something bad. This does not happen when there is a purge day. If it's purge day, then anything goes except server rules. Stick to server rules on purge day. If someone gets put on trial, they will go and get sent to the courtroom where they will have their trial take place and they will get their sentence. Uh, decided upon. You can also apply to become a staff member. So we have an application form on our website. Again, here's the website. And you can apply through that and just be patient for us to actually see and read your application because that actually takes some time. And don't be disheartened when if we reject it. I don't know about you, Em, but I'll probably be streaming the first um, purge day, along with this server opening. Um, I want to interact with as many of you as I can, so I will be jumping in in the Discord, the Manaria <coughs> Discord, with a lot of my fans, or a lot of my um, team members from uh, team, Go team Death God, so we can go around trying to purge everywhere. So we will be jumping from city to city, trying to look for any base we find, any valuables, and you know you can team up with me. You can try and stop me if you like, guys like. Um, but yeah, I will be on playing on it's Chrissy as a normal survival player. So I will be doing every single task, guys. I'll give everyone full armor, full weaponry, full tools if you if you touch Callum's base. That's it. But guys, um, I'll be doing <laughs> I'll be doing 100% complete survival on its Chrissy. So I'll be joining everyone on doing tasks, doing quests. So you guys can either help me, hinder me, um, and on my God 
account, I will be, um, yeah, joining you on Parages. Um, and yeah, I don't really know what else to add, but yeah, guys, have you really got, have you guys are really actually excited for this? Because I really know I am. I'll be live streaming a lot of man area coming up. Um, yeah, and basically the more we can attack Callum and destroy his team, the better. <laughs> Yeah, we're all really excited for this because it has actually been a whole year in the making. Um, starting from when the server goes live. So it has been a very long year of just getting everything ready, building everything, doing all the permissions. And it's, yeah, it's just been really crazy. So please share uh, the server with your friends uh, your family, just try and get out, get Maneria known because it would be amazing if we can get as many people on the server as we can. And guys, be sure to check out everyone's Twitter. I'm not sure if Callum actually has a Twitter. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, make sure to check out everyone's Twitter so we can see when we're going to be on the server. We're going to be tweeting a lot. Um, any places you discover there are a lot of easter eggs i know i've put around the server maps so be sure if you find them to tweet me at it's chrissy yt um and yeah guys i really hope everyone enjoys playing um obviously it's going to be a very interactive ser series for me um but yeah I, I you know if you feel free to upload it there are maybe some special youtuber twitch ranks we could possibly get um i don't know em's looking at me she's not okay she's nodding phew I actually got away with that one. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, big goof, yep. Um, yeah, so yeah, guys, we really do hope that, you know, everyone can promote the server in any way, even if it's just letting your friends know about it and you play it, you know, even if it's something you pop on, you know, once every week, you know, even just for Purge Days, that'd be great fun. Um, and yeah, be sure to spread the word, be follow, follow us all on Twitter, and we'll get Cal to eventually get a Twitter. We may even make a minute... <laughs> Minaria uh, Twitter, M. I think so. Yeah. But yeah, we'll get we'll get that sorted. So make sure you follow us. All there. We'll you know we'll keep the server nice and updated for everyone. And yeah. Yeah, as I said, it is a progressional server, so every thing that you do changes something in the server or changes the the future of the server. So if you kill someone, that will get put in the records and so on and so forth and any law that you might suggest that will that might change the server as well so anything can happen with the server and that's probably what i love about it and it, hopefully it's gonna be really really good any so words from you jinx parting words yeah <laughs> okay, uh, thanks Jinx, that's very that's great input. Yeah, geez, geez, geez. So we do have some before and after shots from all the progress of us building. So I hope you guys enjoy those and we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>